We apologize for the quality of the audio in that report. Moving on, reactions are trailing the Nigeria Governor's Forum's stand on the removal of fuel subsidy, while energy experts say it should go beyond statement. Lagos residents believe it will bring more hardship to the common man. Plus TV Africa's Destiny Momo x-rays the opinions of residents and now reports. In actual meeting, the Nigerian Governors Forum considered the report of a committee headed by Kaduna State Governor Nasiru El Rufai and accepted its recommendation that backs full the regulation of petrol, suggesting that the pump price of the product should hover around 385 naira per litre. The committee recommended that the removal of subsidies should be immediate to save the nation's economy. Following this development, energy analyst Bode Soumi speaks of the need for evidence or it would only amount to a price increase. Well, the first thing is that was there a subsidy in the first place? And if there was a subsidy, how do we know the subsidy has actually been removed? In simple terms, the, the, we need to know the parameters for the subsidy. We need to understand the parameters for the subsidy. Unsurprisingly, this has brought mixed reactions from residents as we feel the pulse of commuters and transporters on the streets of Lagos. They only have grim expressions, believing that hard times will only linger. For the past 10 or 5, 15 years now, we have heard that the subsidy has been removed. So why now I see the subsidy? Every, every, every government came and said, OK, they are removing subsidy. Removing the subsidy could be a good idea, but I feel the people need to be empowered first. I can really pay a price for something. If you have that price, this, one, this, one, this bus I'm done, you could maybe 500, 400. With the number of increased salary for how many years? If they remove the subsidy, definitely commuters, they should be ready to pay for more. From Ikeja to the island here is 700 naira. How much? Multiply it by 30 days or 24 days. And then how much are you paying the worker? But Isomi also speaks on some issues concerning OPEC cuts, smuggling and how the economy can be saved. Production. They are basically looking at the economics of petroleum products. In other words, um, it's a demand and supply economy. So they are looking at a situation in which there is less products available in the market so that such that the prices of those products can go up. We have had uh, crude oil at less than $50. Some of the reasons why the price has gone up is because of the OPEC cuts. While some governors are in full agreement of subsidy removal, others oppose, saying it will cause more hardship for Nigerians. Destin Momo for Plus TV Africa. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our